Moms. Welcome back to our YouTube channel, Femininity with Mama Gail. Today, let's talk about the 10 things that every feminine person should have. The first one is feminine energy. Feminine energy is number one on this list for a reason. A lot of us, we are practicing the other nine things that I'm going to list on this, on this list and not having any feminine energy. Feminine energy, I'm not going to go into a whole lot of feminine energy because I have videos that talk about feminine energy and things of that nature, but you must have feminine energy. That means that you have dealt with, cleaned up, cleaned out your inside so that the radiance, the beauty of your femininity is not only reflecting on the outside, but it's shining from within to reflect on the outside. So feminine energy... Is number one. The second thing you must have is presence. Every feminine person has presence. It doesn't matter whether you're male or female. When you come into a room, a space, a place, people recognize that there is something different about you. It is the feminine energy that is radiating out of you and that feminine radiance that you have commands presence. It is feminine presence presence when you are there the masculine knows that feminine is in the room masculine man the masculine woman masculine people people flowing in masculine energy they recognize that the feminine is in the room feminine energy has entered the room they may not understand what this is who this is who you are what it is about you but it's presence feminine presence you light up a room. The third thing, morals, values, and standards. As people in general, we should have morals and values and standards, things that we stand by, things that we won't compromise, things that we are without question who we are, what we stand for, and things of that nature. Morals, values and standards have gone out the window people are doing things just willy-nilly the feminine woman should have morals and values things that she's not going to do places she's not going to go things she's not going to say because of who she is because of the person that she is her value she values who she is and if she's religious and have religious values, she adds those values to her feminine presence, to her femininity, to who she is. But you should have morals, values, and standards as a feminine person. The fourth thing is body language. You should be able to speak femininity without opening up your mouth. And I mean not just walking into the room and commanding presence, which is a blessing, it's a gift, it's something that we do simply because we are radiant and illuminate. But your body language, the cross legs, the way that you posture yourself and carry yourself, your body language should speak femininity without you having to get up out of a chair to walk across a room, to catch someone's attention. People should be able to look at you and see the difference in the way that you carry yourself, in who you are, the way that you represent yourself. Your body language speaks volumes. The fifth thing, a great attitude. You should always have a beautiful attitude. And I know people have the ability to pull you clean out of feminine energy but if you can avoid it do so at all times and if you can't make sure that you snap right back in to feminine energy a great attitude is good to have because attitude speaks a lot about you it is attitude that's going to get you through different doors and attitude opens doors for you know, just great things for people to respect you, the way that you treat yourself, the way that you have positive energy about things. And if you have negativity and a negative attitude about things, then your attitude is not flowing 
in alignment with your femininity. So positive, beautiful, attitude, cheerful, happy, radiant, soft, sweet, beautiful, attitude. Every feminine person should have a great attitude. The next one, it goes right into number set number six. Confidence and security goes hand in hand with having a great attitude. Because when you are confident, you are not threatened or intimidated by anyone or anything. When you are secure, you're not worried about what Boo doing. Where he at? Who's talking to him? Why she all in his face? Things of that nature. The feminine woman, <laughs> confidence and security should be the main thing with the main thing. You should not be worried, threatened, intimidated about nothing and no one. Because it's very ugly for a feminine woman not to be confident. How are you going to walk into a room, command presence, be present? Light the room up. And then you don't have confidence. You're insecure about who Boo talking to over in the corner. Instead of you showing up, if it's, you feel like it's something that shouldn't be, in your feminine radiance and stepping between them, giving Boo a kiss, and uh, striking the conversation to take the attention off of whatever it is it's trying to distract him. And I do understand that this world that we live in, that everybody's not playing fair. So why should the feminine woman? You always stay in feminine presence, even when you have to make your presence known when it comes to yours. But don't be insecure and don't lack confidence in nothing that you do. Flow in a great attitude. Work those three together. Be positive. Speak affirmations. Talk to yourself. See yourself already doing the thing, already there, already positive, already flowing in whatever it is that you want. A great attitude, confidence, and security will take you a long way. The next one is identity. Know who you are. Are. Don't get caught up in just because you're feminine, your whole identity is in your femininity. It's beautiful to be feminine, but know who you are. Not what you do, your profession. Know who you are. Know your body. Know yourself. Know you. Spend time with you. Getting to know you. To put those morals, values, and standards to work. The things that you will and will not compromise. Make up your identity. When you know who you are, nobody can influence you or make you anything less than who you are. They cannot treat you anything less than who you are. Your values and your worth is in your identity. Get to know who you are, young lady, young gentleman. Be confident in who you are. Don't let anybody define you and tell you, you have to be this way. You have to do this. Why? You are you, and you were created to be you. Your identity is in who you choose to be. And whoever you choose to be, sweetie, be you. In beauty, radiance, and Excellence. The next one. Number eight. A nice, decent wardrobe. Your wardrobe does not have to be Gucci down to the socks. Your wardrobe does not have to be all kind of Michael Kors and different designer things, especially when you're first starting out. If you're going to go to Rainbow and shop, shop decently. Get you some nice pants with nice tops and things of that nature. Switch them up. I talk about when I started my feminine journey, how I went to the thrift store and started buying clothes out the thrift store, washing those things up and taking them to the dry cleaners and getting them cleaned and things of that nature. Start where you are and as you go, start buying quality pieces one by one. And the next thing you know, you have... A closet full or closets full shoes and bags and 
clothes everywhere so much so that you don't have any place to put them all <laughs> that's my story but anywho make sure you take care of the clothes that you have the wardrobe that you have and the things that belong to you when you start to accumulate these things the next thing great hygiene we're not going to go all into what great hygiene is we all know what taking care of your body taking care of yourself taking care of your hygiene taking care of in between areas that may reek sweat and leak sweat and end up musty later on everywhere there's a crack in a space you need to take care of it sometime more than once a day take care of your hygiene the next thing number 10 this is the final one smell good make sure you keep your smell goods Dolce Gabbana Marc Jacobs all different kinds of happy for women I mean just get you some perfumes oils things of that nature you know what's beautiful when you shower and you have oil and you get out the, the shower from the mist and you you oil yourself down with beautiful body oils and you could just smell it in the air in the atmosphere especially when you get ready to be intimate with your partner when you get out of a hot shower and he could smell it all over your body <laughs> boom that's a turn on but anywho smell good so the 10 list feminine energy number one two is have presence number three is your morals values and standards number four body language number five a great attitude number six confidence and security number seven identity number eight have a nice decent switch up wardrobe number nine great hygiene and number ten always smell good always this is femininity with mama gail don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel have a blessed and prosperous day divas diamonds and dolls